Hi, I'm Amin Balori, Systems Engineer with EMC. Today we'll take a look at achieving true high availability and data mobility using EMC's VPlex Metro solution. In this environment, we'll have two separate production data centers. Each data center will have its own VPlex cluster, one EMC VNX array, and a single ESX host in each site. A third site will house the VPlex witness server. Let's dig into the VMware environment a little bit. The simple environment just has one virtual machine named Demo VM. As you can see, it's currently living on ESX06, which is in Site B. You also see that it lives on data store named VPlex VE Data Store 1. We'll next take a peek into the individual ESX servers, specifically taking a look at the storage devices that are mounted to them. You'll see here a device ending in F9DB. And if we take a look at ESX06, we will see the same device mounted there as well. This is a lab environment, and you'll see some references to iSCSI and iSCSI devices. Keep in mind that in a production environment, you'll only see fiber channel protocol. Let's take a quick peek into how VPlex is configured. As previously mentioned, in this environment, each data center has its own EMC VNX storage array. On each array, a unique storage volume or LUT has been created. A unique extents file has been created. And ultimately, each site has its own unique subdevice. In this top section here, we see the same virtual volume being distributed to both data centers at the same time. This gives us a read-write, active-active copy of the same LUN in two different data centers at the same time. Just to prove the environment, we're going to do a simple vMotion test. We're going to vMotion our demo VM from ESX06 in Site 2 to ESX01 in Site 1. To show that the virtual machine is fully operational during its site-to-site -site vMotion process, we're going to run a little script here that will simply count and increment in the background. Now we're going to test the high availability features of VPlex in a VMware environment. We can see here that our demo virtual machine is now living on ESX01. We're now going to force power down ESX01. The virtual machine living on ESX01 will also be shut down in the process. After a few minutes, we should see our virtual machine automatically start back up in the other data center on ESX06. So we found VPlex to virtualize physical volumes 
then distribute those new virtual volumes across multiple data centers, thereby providing an active-active environment. VPlex essentially removes the notion of distance in a stretch VMware environment. What we're left with is two data centers acting as one in an active-active manner. VMware features like vMotion, high availability, DRS, and fault tolerance work as they used to, but now stretch across both data centers. This concludes my presentation on EMC vPlex Metro. Please take a look at the comments section for links to white papers and other related documentation. Thank you.